Louisiana Beer Reviews, Rainy Evening, Dos Equis Azul. It's a lager beer brewed with spices, blue agave, nectar, and caramel color ale. Well, at least they're telling you what they're putting in it, right? Um, introduced in 2014. I bought this in the uh, Beers of Mexico variety pack. I got that for $12.49, which had the Soul, the Tecate, the Dos Equis, and this one. They've been really branching out. They got the uh, Dos Equis Especial. That was the first new Dos Equis in 84. The original was 1897, the Ambar. Uh, and then they've been adding the Rattler, the uh, Dos Equis Arita, the Dos Arita, and now this Azul. I was watching some videos, Beer King, out in uh, San Jose, California. He really liked it. And some other guys was watching their review. I think it was called Behind the Bar Beer Reviews. It just started. One guy said it was okay. The other guy said he didn't like it because he didn't like flavored beers. Well, I don't like flavored beers either, really, but let's see what it's about. It's a medium white head, and the appearance is uh, just a typical... <laughs> bubbly, somewhat bubbly. Um, it's not that bubbly. There's some stray bubbles. Let me recant that. Straw appearance of golden straw. Depends how the white's in it. It's very clear. Let's check out the aroma. It's, uh, it's similar to Dos Equis with the overriding lager beer flavor. But there is that sweetness, that um, agave cactus uh, thing going on. And some mild spiciness, I would say. And some brandiness from the wheat. It smells just pretty much like to describe it. A lager beer brewed with wheat and added spices and the agave nectar. Of course, you wouldn't smell the caramel color, I guess, but let's go with the flavor. Sweet, bready, a little syrupy, a little bit cloying. Now, they say it's 5.7% alcohol. I couldn't get anything official on that. Uh, beer advocate saying it's okay. Rapier was saying like 23 or 25 out of 100, pretty low. There's only like 13 reviews on Beer Advocate and 16 reviews on Rapier, so it's not widely reviewed. There's only two video reviews for it. Well, it's okay. It's very similar to that Blue Moon Agave Nectar Beer, um, whatever that one's called. I didn't really like it too much. It's sort of like a sugar substitute. I noticed in the grocery store they'll sell that agave sweetener for people that don't want sugar. It's kind of like that. There's nothing bad about it. But then on the other hand, there's nothing really that good about it to me. It's not bad. Really. Um, I guess I'll give it... I'm trying to decide between C plus and B minus. I'll go ahead and say C+. Plus. It's high average, but it's nothing to run out and seek out or look for. But if you see it in the 12-pack, in the I mean, it's okay. You only be drinking three of them. I mean, it's worth trying. I'll say that. So. The regular Dos Equis and the Dos Equis Ambar and the Tecate and the Soul are way better, though. But that's a preference thing. Some people would really like this flavored beer thing. I don't, but... So it's... It's sort of like my uh, personal issue with the style coming into play. So anyway, I'm glad I got to try it, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to today, rainy, southeastern Louisiana, and I'll show you what I'm talking about.
And then I went over to my neighbor's house to put her newspaper and her mail under her porch because she was going to St. Louis and she said she was coming in this evening. Tonight, might be late tonight. So I wanted to, her to have the uh, stuff so she wouldn't have to wait for me to get home from work tomorrow to get it. Gee whiz, I hope it didn't get soaked wet. I feel terrible, even though I was trying to do a, do a nice thing for her. Oh well, thank you world for watching this video production.